Enshrouded is the latest open world game to enter early access on Steam, and because I'm clearly a sucker for completely unfinished games, I decided to dive in and see if it works on the Steam Deck. It's already clearly going to be a big hit as well, as at time of noting all this down, there were 60,000 people playing it on Steam. Now my testing here is on the Steam Deck OLED with the latest stable Proton 8.0-5 that was just recently released. And thankfully it does work fine out of the box with Proton 8. Even the text input for the character creator gave a proper on-screen overlay keyboard so the developer at least seems to have done some kind of Steam Deck testing. Not only that, but out of the box on Steam Deck, it clearly has the graphics options customised and tweaked for it as well. Now when testing it on my desktop Linux, I tested it on the overall balanced preset, which seemed okay. But the options on Steam Deck were set to custom by default, with lots of the options set to performance. The controls feel absolutely fine as well, it has proper gamepad support with it clearly set up to work across different input methods, so it is initially ticking quite a few boxes. So going into the game I was somewhat hopeful that it might run okay on Steam Deck, and much to my surprise for such a new big open world game, it does work. Not only that, but the initial performance did seem to be okay in the starting room, but that is absolutely nothing like the rest of the game. Once you take a single step outside, the performance drops pretty dramatically on the default settings not even hitting 30 frames a second. Swapping it from the defaults to max performance which has everything on the lowest it can go which is the majority of the footage you're seeing in this video, you're still not going to hit 30 frames a second. As you go through smaller enclosed areas, it's not so bad, the performance is okay in the enclosed areas on max performance, but you think most of your time is going to be in the big main open world, where the performance on Steam Deck really just isn't anywhere good enough, at least in my opinion. I know plenty of you can happily deal with lower performance, but for me, in a game like this, I need at least 30 frames a second or above, which you're just largely not going to get in this game right now. To give you a brief demonstration on the performance difference in the open world with basically nothing here, I change it over from max performance up one level to just performance and you'll see the change in the frame rate is dramatic, it is rubbish. So you're going to want to play this on max performance potentially tweaking one or two things to make it look better. But even as a little test, using max performance and just adding in small foliage to make it not look quite so bad, even that alone, that one single setting, drops the performance quite a lot. And max performance just doesn't look good at all, and the FSR here really makes the screen just look quite messy. Now, it will look worse on YouTube on a bigger screen, of course, but even directly on the Steam Deck, it did not look particularly good. I could not see myself playing this when there's other much better looking open world games out there that do run far better on Steam Deck. So right now, even on the lowest possible details with pretty much nothing in the world at the start of the game, it struggles to even keep 30 frames a second, so really, it's just not playable enough. You have to think, this is the very basic start of the game, and when you've played a little bit more and you've got a bunch of stuff built, and if you're playing with other people as well and there's more going on, the performance is going to go down even more. In terms of battery life on the Steam Deck OLED, you're looking at a bit over two hours on a full charge on the lower settings, which is about the same as a lot of bigger open world titles, so that's very much expected. So for my initial report for you on Enshrouded on the Steam Deck right now, it's plain and simply not good enough, but hopefully with optimizations we may at least eventually get a decent 30 FPS stable, because I've seen lots of performance complaints even from people on powerful desktops, and with it being an early access, it is unfinished, they have plenty of time to grow the game into something good. So do let me know what you think in the comments, as always, I'm keen to hear from you, and I'll see you later.